Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first YouTube tutorial. Um, technically not my first because I did one yesterday and it was a disaster because the second one, I, the first half of it I'm not allowed to upload, but the second half uploaded, which really sucks because I took my time with that. Anywho, today's look is a full glam look. Um, yesterday I did a simple but glam look. I'm still glamorous, like I had colors. But today, I think I'm going to step outside of my box. I usually don't do, um, what is it, a lot of colors. So, today I am. Also, the camera quality is horrible because I'm doing it on my laptop because I did it on my phone and I couldn't edit the videos and stuff. So, until I get a camera, my Chromebook is what I'm going to use. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into these eyebrows. Now, what I'm going to use is, for my eyebrows, to fill them in, I'm going to use the NYX Tame & Frames in the color espresso and I use this to um, do the outline of my brows and for the inside I use NYX eyebrow gel in the color espresso don't don't mind my fingers because they look like also I came straight from school and I was like alright I'm caught up in my school let me go ahead and make my YouTube video you know stop playing and do what I'm supposed to do so yeah that's why I still have one my school you know so I still have one scrubs so um I'm not a pro with this I do it because that's what I love to do um I, I love you know doing my makeup. I do have some clients. I, like I said, I'm not a pro with this, so, yeah. But, um, you guys can see, like, my whole back. But, yeah, I just, it's, I don't know. I'm from Baltimore, so, a lot of words that I say won't sound different than what y'all say, but I live in the country, if that makes sense. I live in the country. I moved to the country. Because, it's not that the city life wasn't too much for me, because I, I grew up in the city. But, I moved to the country because it's better for my children, and my husband is in the rooms, so, so I like my um, pomade to be a little, well, not oily, but just have a little bit of moisture to it, and it's like really dry. So I just put like one little drop of the first Alley's Rose Gold um, beauty oil. I do moisturize my face with it as well. But yeah, um, you know, if, if you guys want to know anything about me, just comment and I can give you the rundown on the old me. Um, I'm a school for medical assistant, so I love working with the human body. All that good stuff, you know. I like stuff like that. I love learning about things. And I like helping people. Like, I love helping people. Sometimes it backfires with helping people. Because I tend to get, like, really um, caught up in a lot of things. Not, like, bad things, but, like, things with, with helping people. Because you try to be, you know, that person that your parents or your grandparents were. Like, my mom will help anybody. My grandmom, before she passed away, she would help anybody. But my dad, he helps people as well. So I try to help people as much as I can. And I'm just using the um, makeup remover to, because I went over a little too much. But yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a mom of three. I have three boys. No girls. Wish I did, but. Go ahead, the plans, I guess. Like, nah. Uh, you gotta add that boy more attitude. You don't, you don't need. I do so you probably see me digging my eyes because I had lashes on earlier and some of the glue is still on my lashes even after I use makeup remover so if you guys have any tips on what I can do to remove that as well um, I like my eyebrow stick because I don't have much of an eyebrow I don't have much hair and when I get them waxed it's like oh my gosh there's nothing there oh there it is nothing there at all so I want my channel to be fun. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do to make my channel fun, nothing crazy or weird because I'm not going to do it. I can promise you that. Um, I don't know if my music is good in this, but I guess you'll find out one day. And they say, no, you can't upload this video because of the music copyright issue. So that's cool because I'm going to go over the music, but you're not even going to hear it. So let's go ahead and fill it in. Now, as I stated, I usually do use the um, I usually use the brow gel, but I think tonight I'm not since I'm not really going anywhere. I'll use it in my next video. I'm only doing this because for the sake of the video, I'm not really, I'm not going anywhere, you know. I don't plan on going back out today. Okay, if I can see you. I'm gonna wait 50 brows because I'm looking a little crazy. 
So what you wanna do is you wanna fade that part of your brow out. I think you should do your brow the way you wanna do it. I don't think you should. I don't think you should do it the way people want you to do it. I think you should do it the way you wanna do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and do some hair like strokes. Yeah, for some reason, my right eyebrow is longer than my left eyebrow. Like I mean, it's really longer than it. Like it comes all the way out here. And my right one is like <laughs> back there. So I do, I try my best to get my eyebrows as even as I can get them. I try. I'll make this video really short though. All right, so to conceal, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. Gonna need it, there we go. And I put it on the back of my hand because that's what I did. I did sanitize though, before the video. So, I did do that. I got clean my hands if I apply anything to my face. Anything. I don't care what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M166 brush and it looks like this. And I'm gonna conceal the bottom of my brows with the Tarte. And So I had a question, and you guys can comment in the box, in the comment box. Anybody watch that show Manifest? Like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Like I have to watch it every, every Monday. And if I missed it, because you know, student life and mom life and wife life, you just miss things sometimes. Um, if I missed it, I usually record it. Like I missed it last night, but I recorded it because it's, it's, it's my show. Um, if you guys wonder when I'm wiping the excess one, is I have a palette right here. I need a towel. So, let's just do the other eyebrow. So I'm gonna try my best to use um, a lot of affordable products. I don't really use drugstore products like that because majority of the time when I use drugstore, I have a bad reaction to them. It's like a very bad reaction. So I um I'm gonna use I usually use a lot of not too expensive but expensive products because I like my face not to break up. I have to them. So okay, let's go ahead and get that excess off. Now for the top of my brow, I am going to use the NARS. Soft matte in the color medium dark three in the color mod on my day, and it's by Nars. I'm just gonna do the top of my brows with this because this doesn't give me the halo effect. I don't like the halo effect at all. I used to get it a lot though when I first started um doing my brows when I first started out on makeup because I didn't know what the what the heck I was doing. But now I now that I know a little something something, and again I am not a pro at this. Maybe y'all know something that maybe y'all can. Can teach me something. But when I say I'm not a pro, like I mean I'm not a pro at all. And I'm starting to touch the bottom of the pan with this, so I'm gonna do this a little bit more. And I use the, um, it's a brush that I got from Walmart. It's a Royal and Langnickel Dome Shadow Brush. I use this to blend out my concealer. I use it on my concealer, on my eye, because, um, under my eyes. All right, so now that we got that done, I'm going to put this away. And we're going to start on the eyes. And with the eyes, you just, I usually just put the concealer on and then I go back in with my dome brush and um, blend it out. Um, so this video is going to sound a little weird because I'm not really good with editing at all. At all, but you know, I'm working on it. 
And my sister, she does editing, but I want to email this video to her. Oh, I don't know what. So I'm gonna attempt to edit this video. So if you guys can hear this music and you guys are wondering who the person is, my name is Juicy Fruit. If you guys want to know, I'll, I'll um, make sure I put that in the description. Because you know this is her music, not mine. I like her, her, her rap though. She, she can spit. Okay. I think I got it blended. So now I like it. And then my next step is the um appetite one, nice. To get that shortness that I like. So that's what I do. Yep, this is too long of a piece, but whatever. Okay. Let's get into this eyeshadow. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what palette I'm going to use. I want to use Juvia's Way. But I want to do a look similar to what I did last night. So, we're going to use... I'm going to try some blue with some green. Honestly, don't know. Okay, yes, I do. So, first color I'm gonna go in with is this pink color right here, and this is in the Juvia Place Zulu palette. They are extremely pigmented, but they're amazing. So we're gonna go in with. We're gonna go into the pink, the pink shade, and we're gonna use. I can find my brushes. We're gonna go in with this brush now. I got this brush in a palette, right? A palette. In a brush set that I had got from Ross. So we're gonna go ahead with this. Tap it off. And I like to dab my color and then blend it out. I'm gonna move closer. I just got so much lighting going on around. So, my quality is going to be horrible. I'm not going to try. But it's going to be like that until I get my okay. camera. If I knew how to get them off my phone, I would. I would be fine, but I don't know how to get it off my phone. That's a little better. Maybe I should turn those lights off back there too. Okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my fluffy brush from Morphe, the M200 brush. And we're going to just buff that out because we don't want no harsh lines. I'm just blend to your liking. Okay. Now, we're going to take the Morphe M330 brush and we're going to dip into that purple right there. And dip into that. Just dab it in. Dab. So blend out all the creases that you may have and you can feel it. And now we're gonna dab in that purple into the crease. Mm. 
instead of just like the placement color first before I go in. Blend it out. Now we just go back in with that fluffy brush that we just had. And we blend everything together. I don't like this camera. I need to just go ahead and get me a camera next week. But like I said, I'm a broke college kid. So, yeah. But I post pictures of the look on my IG. So you guys can always just come to my IG and look at the picture, the looks that I did. Follow me, you know? My IG is Queenie underscore Nicole. Follow me, you know, I follow you back. If you want to recreate the look after you see it, um, tag me in your photos. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So oh, I need this brush. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna cut my crease, and when I cut my crease, the color I'm going in with is this pretty, pretty shimmer color right here. That's the color I'm gonna go in with. And then over top of it, I'm gonna use this pink Phoenix. Sorry, I got, I got that shirt. Don't, don't judge me though. Alright, so I'm gonna deepen this, and we're gonna, to deepen it, we're gonna dig into, let's see which palette I'm digging into. Then I'm gonna dip into Mystique. In the Jacqueline Hill palette, um, the Bling Boss, I think that's what I'm going to dip into. So, and I'm going to use the Morphe M332 brush. Now look, I don't use the brushes with the correct things that they should be used for. So, don't judge me. I use whatever brush I feel is going to get it done for me. So, this is the brush that I feel is going to get it done. And it deepens it. It sucks that you guys can't really, can't really see it. That sucks because I want you guys to be able to see this color. And I'm going to use the Morphe G17 brush to like blend it out. Because now that it's deeper, we don't need, we don't know how much longer, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're going to cut our crease. And um, I might use that pink that I thought I was going to use. But then at the same time, I really, really like bling bling. That's, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's that's bling bling from the Ju oh, not Juvia's from the Jack and Hill I'm sorry, I'm having a moment. But I also like Baldi. That one, that one's pretty too. But they look the same on camera, so I don't know what's running. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and cut this. Piece. Okay. So we're gonna do a a whole cut crease. I'm gonna attempt to do a whole cut crease. You know, I'm not, I don't have that skill yet, so, so it's, it may not come out right, but it don't hurt to try, right? Now, I'm going to use a Q-tip to, like, clean up that, um, clean up that area where I got, like, the purple and stuff like because I don't want it to fade over into you. I don't that purple something seep into my crease. I don't know what this one is. I'm gonna edit that.
Okay. No. I think we're dead. I don't know. No. We don't want some crayon cakes. And we're gonna use Magenta. And I'm not even gonna go all the way up. I'm just gonna do some. Um, I need to set the top of it because My nose is running really big. Um, my brain is like so dead right now. It's not working full throttle in school today, so I'm sorry. You <laughs> guys like, I guess. So, if I go in with magenta, I'm gonna set above it. And this is just LA color and the color natural, but I mix um, like opal um, dark into it. And I use the little brush because it can get all the way up. You get all the way up in there where I need to be. Okay. Now we're going to go into. Magenta. Okay, we just place magenta down. Okay, so we got that done. And now that we got that done, we just gonna put a little bit of pigment over top of it to brighten it up just a little because I'm an extra, extra type. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You're still saying so. I don't know what Get it as symmetrical as I can.
fix this. So I got a fix right there. And to fix it, I'm gonna use my Morphe Y22 brush. And I'm just gonna go into that purple. That speaker, like every time that it lights up, I think it's the light behind me from what I see in that video. Okay, so now that we got it up, we're gonna go in with the go back into the crayon, the box of crayon. And I get the color magenta. And we're just gonna place her right up in there. And I press my my shadows in onto my concealer. And I'm sorry you guys can't see it. For those of you that got Instagram, follow me, Queenie Nicole, Queenie underscore Nicole. I go live on my IG a lot from my phone because like I said, I don't have a camera. So my um my love looks a lot better on the phone than it does on the computer. Okay, and that's it. Clean my brush off, and then I go into that pigment. Got that done. The next thing we're gonna do is eyeliner, and I use the Black Radiance eyeliner, creamy gel, creamy eyeliner, and the color classic black. And it's not gonna be a wing. Well, it might be. Who knows? It don't need to be a wing, but. And um, the brush I'm using is the M, the Morphe M 250s brush. Wing. 
not eating and my eyes running so fuck myself in it I can never have a good album a day, and if I do, it's rare. Okay, let's take this table. Definitely a little wing. is the NYX dual eye mascara just to coat my lashes and prep them for my lashes my lips are so freaking dry man so my lips are dry like I really gotta put something on Lash glue is super strong eyelash adhesive by I am from I am by kiss and I think the lashes that I'm gonna use is called um glam yeah called glam and I got these on Amazon this is the box that they just came in I don't they don't have a name it just says 3D fake eyelashes long saw repair package that's it <laughs> excuse me that's it but yeah I got them on Amazon and I did have these on earlier these are my favorite, like, they're so pretty. So we're just gonna let that set so it can, yeah, I put my lashes on. <laughs> my highlighter stick. I don't even use the highlighter stick because I don't like the way it, um, it, like, it, it pulls my foundation. I don't like it. So I'm, I'm trying to move as fast as I can to not make this video like really long and boring because I'm already yeah okay so I'm gonna get a, a makeup wipe and these are from Intrigue and I'm gonna wipe this one is dry I'm gonna wipe my face of all the excess and pull all the oils out of my skin now you see the excess like okay. now this is my teeth on and I get really, really oily in it. So what we're gonna do is, okay, we're gonna go on with the Becca Evermet Poreless Priming Perfector. And I put it on my T-zone. What I do is, I heat it up between my hands so I get it melted a little, and I place it. I heat it up my nose. I place it in my T-zone. Okay, now it's in my hair. But yeah, I place it in my T-zone. And I place it around here. Around my mouth because I tend to sweat. It's, um, it's like on my nose, so I gotta clean my nose. Right? So, yeah, that's where I put it at. I and mean, then, once I'm done, I clean my fingers off. And you know, I'm gonna do like a little highlight with my foundation. I go in with the L'Oreal 
um, True Match Loony Lotion. I'm going with with that. And I just add a couple. Um, I just add a couple drops. So my lashes should be a little tacky by now. So let's go ahead and put them on, and we'll just like set them. Set them up there. Just set them there until they get a little bit more tackier, and then I'll press them down. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the weirdest faces when we apply lashes and mascara. We make the weirdest faces ever. Okay. So my eyes are starting to run again. So let's go ahead and clean them. Okay. So we're gonna let that get tacky. We're gonna let them go into. We're gonna let them go into where they need to be. But like push them up. Oh. Let's go ahead and press them down. Okay. And we got it. Let's go ahead and add some of this. Um, I was gonna back off. Let's just add like a drop right there, a drop there, a drop on the. Supposed to be a drop on the nose, a drop on the nose, and a drop on the cheek. I mean, on the chin. I can't even talk for it. Just. So it's still kind of, still kind of sticky. So the foundation that I use is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color um, chestnut. And I'm going to do the recon. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe G6 brush. And I'm just going to apply to my face. Now I like full coverage, so I go in right at two full pumps this time. Which I should only do one. I just did two. You know, whatever I don't need to over. Because I can't get it like a bottom anyway, so just go away. Or is that a waste of product? And you guys are really not the act, but that's a waste of product. Look. I'm just asking, okay? I'm new to this makeup thing. I'm not as skilled as you all for as you guys will call it, um, as you guys will call it, because I don't know what you guys call it. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. Just gonna apply the foundation on your forehead. I usually use a um a beauty blender, but since doing this, I like how the brush applies my makeup, my foundation. So we want to get up under that neck. Because you don't want to look like you got a mask on, you know? So, I got hair on me. I was Mm -hmm. It's time for you to come off tonight and get warm. I don't like the foundation on my lips. Like, I don't like the way it feels. It feels so disgusting. Okay. So, to do my under eye, what I do is I use NARS because I don't really like a bright, bright highlight. So, I use my NARS and I just do that. And by me doing this, it um it blends to me. It's not that bright. And that's what I like. Um I don't like a lot of I don't like the room. I don't like my under eyes to be really, really bright at all. But you know I don't not bold that that like the under eyes bright. But I don't. So I'm not really gonna do much of my forehead since I have this front on. So that's it. And we're gonna use the tan sand, maybe like a drop of tan. One, two. Excuse me. 
do now. We just blend this child with the brush that I use. And it gets bright. It's bright, but it's not like real bright. And I, like I said, I'm really sorry you guys that it, the quality of this video is terrible. It's, I really apologize. I'll, I'll do better next time. I promise. So, I guess I'm going to try to post a new video every week. Um, every week. You know, on the, well, only on the weeks that I'm like caught up on my schoolwork, but I'll pre record that way I can edit and upload them for you guys. Yeah. I don't like the fact that you guys can't see, um, that you guys can't see what I'm doing. So, the first thing I'm going to do, um, thing I'm going to do next week is get a camera and record. That way I can, I can edit. And then to like get that set because I don't, I don't like the, like before you bring it out it makes your face water. I got a fat face so I don't want to make my face water than whatever it is. Um, and so I just blend it out at the end. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is go in with the next wonder stick. Um, has two sides. I don't use the, the highlight side. I use the contour side, which is this dark chocolate right here. And I just go like that. And by the way, what you're saying right here is not my way of lifting, so don't come for me. I like a really strong nose contour, especially when I do colors like this. Mm -hmm. And cheek. So now that we got it. Now, those of you that don't know, whenever you use a cream, use a powder. Always. Because if not, it'll become oily and your product is gonna move. So I developed increases under my eyes because I got some bags. I'm gonna try to hide them both. So I'm gonna buff, buff them the hell out. Okay, now I have a brush that I use. This one I like to use to get up under. My eye, and this is the Morphe Y11, and because it gets up in my creases, like up in my eye, under my eye, I like to. I like to use it. No, I got. I got a product in my eye. Be careful because it can get in your eye, and if it gets in your eye, it becomes extremely dry. And that can be really, really annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the creases on the second, under the second eye. Okay. And the second powder I'm using is the same that I use for my eyes, which is the um, LA color mixed with the black opal. And it gives me my perfect shade because it's hard to find. Like, I'm like, it's so hard to find um, setting powder for me. I know it sounds weird, but like, it's either too light, too yellow, or too orange. So I end up having to mix them together. And I tend to crease a lot in my smile area. So go ahead and set that. Okay, so now we got that set. However, I am gonna go in with a, a tighter brush. Um this is the Morphe 536 M 536 brush. And I'm just gonna press that up in here to make sure it's really, really set and put it into my skin. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got it, let's go ahead and get into this contour. So, I usually use eyeshadow to contour sometimes. It all depends on how deep I want my contour because I want my contour really deep. 
Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette has a, a brown in it. And, oh my gosh. If you don't want to do that, then don't do it. Me personally, that's just what I do. That brown right there. It really helps. So, the brush that I'm going to do to do that is a Morphe M597 brush. And I just dip into it like that. Tap the excess off. And tap it. And then I blend upwards. You always blend up, don't blend downwards. And tap off there and do the same on that side. Now that is a lot. So I'll go in and fix it. And like I said, I'm not going to contour. I'm not going to contour my my um forehead much because I have a I have a big one. Now, you see how that, um, I messed up. That's okay. We just go in with some foundation. And we just tone it down. Just tone it down myself. Just a little bit. And like I said, I like a deep contour. Whenever I do color. Now, my nose is running, so use the Q-tip. Because, you know, I'm sorry. I make sure I, I edit that out. <laughs> so, now we go in with right there. Now, I recommend using a smaller brush. So, we're going to go in with the Morphe M420 brush. I use this brush on my nose because it's angled and it helps me. Now, you guys don't have to use it. Like I said, I don't, use, I don't always use the brushes that I'm supposed to use. Like, I don't. Mm. And it's always been there. People who contour their nose differently. So, in my pictures, it may look like it's not blended, but it's blended, okay? Okay, so now that we got that, my eye is running. And it's like not even running, it's just like I have, I can still feel that the setting power in my, in my own. Okay, okay. so grab one of these little angles, sponges, and we can cut it. Alright, so once we cut this side, we can move this side. And here's the front part, the nose. That's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. So if you guys got any tips on, you know, what I can do, so I'm just gonna let that sit, and I'm gonna like, no, I'm again. Um, I was about to put some eyeshadow under there, but because of the fact that my eyes are watering really bad, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, so let's go ahead and do some stuff on that scale. Brush it away and do the same thing. And just if, in case you guys are wondering, this is the brush that I use to apply my foundation. Okay, so the next thing, let me wipe that off. That was foundation. So the next thing we're gonna do is, oh, I gotta wipe my lips. I'm gonna spray my face and I'm gonna use the Mario Rose Water. See, see it. There we go. I'm gonna use that and I would use the next, but like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so no point in using it. But I'm gonna use this to put my apply my highlight. Uh -oh. So the highlighter. I hate use eyeshadow with this too. Because that's what I do. Call it what you wanna call it. I don't care. But you can't tell me that that dubious place. Now, I don't, it's like I'm a broke college kid, so at the moment, I don't really have the funds to 
get the highlighter that I want because at the end of the day, I am a mother first and they come first. So I'll continue to use um, eyeshadow until I can afford it. So now I'm gonna hit my chin because that's what I do. Hit my forehead, but not too much. Just to up the notes. Now I will use this, but I'm not. So the brush that I'm gonna use. The Morphe M431, and then we just because I'm an extra bitch, so we need some money. Like I said, I'm extra as fuck. Let's get that other look. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray one more time with the rose water again. And for the lips, I am going to um. I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna just use regular gloss because I have so much going on with the eyes that I don't want to take away from it. I'm just gonna use gloss. So Lips. So, okay. Let's put these brushes away. And since I'm not doing any makeup tomorrow, I'll just go ahead and clean all my brushes. But, however, if you guys want to do something quick, like when you have clients, this. Oh my god, the makeup brush cleaner by Cinema Secrets. I use it all the time. So, yeah, I'm done. I am glad you guys watched the video. Um, give me some likes, subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll do it. Um, also, um, give me some pointers on what I can do to, you know, get my eyes from bordering and keep my eyeshadow from creasing on the inside. You know, give me some pointers. So, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for visiting my channel. Join the crew and become a queen. You know, you're already queen, so why not become one? Join it. Subscribe, you know.